Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, I wanted to catch up with you guys regarding the Arcade 1UP Atari Legacy Centipede Edition that was just announced at CES. Was this cabinet? Is it doomed to fail before it's even released? Did they forget to listen to fan feedback about a couple of key important issues? We're going to talk about it right now. If you guys remember when I just did a video I just did a video a couple days ago. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put the link to that video right here. We're going to put it right here. So just check that link out. Check it out. We talked about the differences between the Arcade 1UP 30th Anniversary Mortal Kombat cabinet as well as the Arcade 1UP Midway Legacy cabinet, right? And we pointed out how they listened to fan feedback on the design of the cabinet and made it a whole ton better. I'm not going to ruin that video for you. Go check it out. But now we have the Atari Legacy cabinet. And Arcade 1UP has made some improvements to this cabinet. I mean, take a look, guys. I mean, when you look at the promo trailer as well as the specs for this cabinet, you're getting the Volcano buttons, which is pretty cool for Player 1 and Player 2 start. You're getting a light-up marquee. You're getting a molded coin door, obviously a non-functional coin door. These coin doors will only be functional with the Pro Series cabinets, as well as you're getting a brand new mold, brand new side panels with the centipede shape and artwork, which look great. And of course, all these cabinets are gonna have the newer boards that you've seen in the fighting game cabinets. They have the better chipsets, the Android operating system, the Wi-Fi capability, the online leaderboards. So a lot of great improvements, right? A lot of great improvements, but what did they do wrong, guys? What did they do wrong? Well, if you guys remember when we were looking at the Atari Legacy cabinet, the Tempest edition, this cabinet, which a lot of people waited until it went on a $250 clearance before they picked it up. This cabinet, in my review, as well as others, a lot of people pointed out, hey, the biggest issue with this cabinet is the fact that you have a mixture of horizontal and vertical games. I believe there were three vertical games and probably nine horizontal games on this cabinet. And you have a horizontal screen. And the, uh, the main game on this cabinet, the one it's themed after, Tempest, is a vertical screen game, but of course, they're using a horizontal monitor. Why are they using a horizontal monitor? Well, that's probably because the abundance of games on this cabinet were horizontal games versus vertical games. And even on our newer uh, Centipede Legacy cabinet, we now have 14 games included on this cabinet because they did add... Lunar Lander back to the lineup, as well as they added Super Breakout. But we have four games, guys. That's right. We have four games on this cabinet out of 14 that are vertical games. You have Centipede, you have Millipede, you have Tempest, and you have Super Breakout. Now, the issue really isn't having vertical games on a horizontal screen. The issue is, as we take a peek here, having the games in the proper aspect ratio. And as you take a look here at the Arcade 1UP horizontal monitor, although people who have multi cades like myself and, you know, we're used to sometimes there's the occasional game, depending on the screen, on the multi cade you're playing on, it might be in the wrong aspect ratio. Does it make the games unplayable? Not really, but it does, you know, for enthusiasts and people who are really passionate about these games, they want the games in the proper aspect ratios. That's the biggest complaint for these. For the Tempest cabinet, you would assume Arcade 1UP would fix that on the Centipede cabinet. But take a look, guys. We have Centipede, a vertical game, which is supposed to be in an inverted 4-3 aspect ratio. I am going to overlay a photo here. This photo is uh, courtesy of good friend of the channel, The Rexer Show showing you what this game would look like in its proper aspect ratio. Now this game, Millipede, Tempest, and Super Breakout should all be in this aspect ratio. In Arcade 1UP, there's nothing wrong with having black bars on the sides of the screen, or you know what? Fill those bars in. Don't stretch the image, fill the bars in. If you don't want to have the black bars on those games, add a bezel, add a photo. It shouldn't, I don't think that could be too difficult when creating this. But let's fill up let's let's fill up the screen appropriately on this cabinet prior to it being released. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of people in reviews, a lot of people complaining in fan pages, etc. A lot of people aren't going to be happy about the fact that four of the games will be in their wrong aspect ratio and end up being stretched. 
Nobody wants their game stretched if they can't handle it. So definitely, guys, this is a concern of mine. Arcade 1UP definitely listened to fan feedback on the Mortal Kombat cabinet. The major issues with the Midway Legacy cabinet were viewing issues, Paperboy, really not that playable, but it's still on there. Oh, well, some people say they can play it. If you can, good for you. But then also, um, the gameplay and the games weren't really the issue with the Midway Legacy cabinet. It was the design of the cabinet, and they fixed it. Well, when it comes to the, to the Tempest cabinet, the Tempest cabinet, really, <laughs> the issues weren't with the design of the Tempest cabinet. As you guys can see right here, the issues were with how these games were set up. How were these games set up? Vertical games on a horizontal screen that were stretched. And it looks like, just according to what we can see here on these images, I mean, hopefully these are just renders, right? Hopefully these are just renders, but on these renders, these games are stretched. Now I'm hoping, you know, by fans putting feedback out there, these cabinets haven't been released yet. I'm really hoping that Arcade 1UP can listen to fan feedback, spread the word, guys, tell Arcade 1UP you want these four games, Centipede, Millipede, Tempest, and Super Breakout in their appropriate 4-3 inverted aspect ratio when you purchase and these cabinets are delivered to your homes. You don't want these games stretched. Let's make sure these games are released in the right way. Hopefully they'll listen to fan feedback because obviously they did by adding volcano buttons and adding uh, adding the molded coin door and the shape of the cabinet. They listen to fan feedback there, but hopefully they can listen to fan feedback about the games because I can tell you what, I have the Tempest cabinet. I would love to upgrade because you guys know me. I love online leaderboards. I would love to upgrade to the Centipede cabinet just to participate in the online leaderboards. But if it's going to look like this, guys, if it's going to look like this, you can count me out. Again, Arcade 1UP doing a good job with Mortal Kombat 30th Anniversary. But if these renders are correct, in my opinion, they still have some work to do to make this centipede cabinet perfect and worth the higher price we're expected to pay. Odds are this cabinet is going to be somewhere between the $500 and $600 price range is what we're assuming until that's confirmed by Arcade 1UP. I want to hear your honest feedback, reactions, comments, guys. Let me know in the comments section after this video is over. And also guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.